Thank you for joining us today for the third episode of our cold case video series. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Sergeant Casey Thomas with the Suffolk Police Department, and with me today is Detective Chris Shear with the Cold Case Unit. If you're new to the series, the Suffolk Police Department has created these videos to call attention to the cold cases and the missing persons and to bring light back onto these cases as they so much deserve. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of our several missing persons cases. We'll be discussing the case of Solomon Clay Blow, who everyone knew as Clay. Mr. Blow was reported missing in 2010 and has not been seen or heard of since. We're hopeful that with some help from the community, we can locate Mr. Blow for his friends, family, all who miss him very dearly. We're going to change locations and hope you stay with us as we discuss some of the facts of the case. We're eager to have people reach out with new or old information. In the past, we know you may have been reluctant or scared to give the information, but encourage you to come forward today. What you may think is not important may be the entire key that unlocks the case. We're out here in the 3700 block of Long Street Lane in the city of Suffolk. This is where Clay was reportedly the driver of a vehicle that was found to have been involved in an accident and where the car was totaled. On December 15, 2010, Suffolk police responded to a single vehicle accident in the 3700 block of Long Street Lane at approximately 1.45 a.m. Upon arrival, officers found there were no occupants in or around the vehicle. The vehicle had heavy front end damage and looked like it had been rolled over many times and came to rest on its roof in the ditch. The vehicle owner stated that a known friend, Clay, had borrowed the vehicle, but she had not heard from him. Three days later, on December 18, 2010, Mr. Rufus Blow reported that his brother, Solomon Clay Blow, was missing. He stated that it was unusual that he had not heard from his brother in several days, and he advised he had gone to his brother's house out here on Long Street Lane, made contact with his brother's girlfriend, who said that he had been in an accident on the 15th, and she had not seen or heard from him since. Rufus was worried because his brother was a diabetic, and he did not have any of his medications with him at the time. At that point, Suffolk Fire Search and Rescue were contacted and called in surrounding jurisdictions, including Tidewater Search and Rescue, to begin preliminary search of the surrounding wooded area where the accident occurred. Virginia Beach Police Air Patrol responded and conducted an air search, but unfortunately did not find anything or anyone. Hampton PD's K-9 responded with a K-9 Bloodhound. The K-9 tracked from the scene of the accident at 3700 block to a couple different areas and then ending at Clay's residence on Long Street Lane. Clay's immediate family members all stated they have had no contact with him since Tuesday the 14th, which was the day before the accident. Clay has diabetes and required daily medications. All of the area hospitals were also contacted and checked because it was unknown if Clay had any injuries from the accident. The search efforts with coordinated search teams continued into December 20th of 2010. Clay at the time of his disappearance was 45 years old, six foot two and approximately 285 pounds. The night of his disappearance, Clay had been playing cards with friends and family and left on his own headed home. Clay enjoyed playing cards and hanging out with friends and family often. Clay was a huge car enthusiast and extremely proud of his Ford Mustang. He spent many nights and weekends at the drag strip in Hertford County. Now we're gonna hear from Billy Blow. This is Clay's brother. He's gonna talk about the pain that the family deals with not knowing where Clay is and dealing with the fact that their dear family member is possibly deceased. I'm Billy Blow, Billy Blow the brother of Solomon Clay Blow. Uh, my brother has been missing since 2010, December. Um, family, you know, been going through some tough times, wanting to get some closure to whether he is still alive or whether he's uh, uh, deceased. And we just want to see if anybody out there that has any information, anything that could help the police officers kind of bring closure to the case and bring uh, peace to our family. We would really appreciate it. We really hope that you will come forward and, and, be, and be a help because it's been a long time that we've been struggling with this. We've been wrestling with this for a long time because, you know, this is a brother that's, that's, that's one that kind of kept the family together, you know, kept laughter with the family, kept, kept us all going, you know, on, when times got rough, he was always that one that could bring, you know, laughter, bring, bring sunshine to our rainy days. And, and I'm just, I know it's a lot of people out there, a lot of friends he had and people he was connected to. And if, if y'all have any vital information, anything that can, that can help these police officers get, get this case and this process rolling to where we can find out something that can bring peace and, and closure to our family, we would greatly appreciate it. We're hoping that the facts that we discussed in this case of Clay 
will get you talking and thinking. And if you have any information on this case or any other cases, please feel free to contact us. You can call us directly at the numbers that will be provided at the end of this video, or if you wish to remain anonymous, you can contact Crimeline at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP, or you can also download the P3 Tip app on your mobile device. Those options will be available for you at the end of this video. We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.